It began as ghost echoes, faint patterns buried in deep space telemetry, flickers barely distinguishable from background radiation, yet tantalizingly regular, unnatural, even. Signals from the stars were routine, but these whispers seemed born of something deeper and more obscure. Across observatories orbiting distant moons and asteroids, chilled analysts puzzled over spectrographs tracking patterns ignored for decades, now troublingly more coherent. No known phenomena fit spectrographic models, but methodically filtering out layers of static revealed structured architecture undeniably artificial beneath the chaotic surface. Fevered analysis suggested no local origin. Triangulation traced the signal path past countless light years, converging somewhere out in intergalactic wastes through a convoluted path seemingly designed to mask some point of origin. Wild theories bounced between experts about galaxy-spanning constructs beaming encrypted data. But the signal contained no actual information beyond its own enigmatic pulse, just an awareness of something impossibly ancient, softly echoing out existence. Until Carnegie Station picked up subsidiary vibrations on the signal frequency from somewhere inside the solar system itself, faint, yet reacting real-time to their scans in unmistakable synchronicity. This Echo's ghost had found its way somehow to Earth space itself, but COI classifications prevented public mention as researchers quietly confirmed unspeakable implications. Somewhere within range of humanity's cradle, an eerie presence waited below ice and vacuum, knowing it had finally been heard, reaching out after eons of silence with patient messages for whatever minds might receive its cosmic murmurs. Across the centuries it whispered, only now eliciting a reply. But whether hoped for or dreaded, none yet knew. Containment chatter died quickly. For better or worse, Pandora's box had opened. Whatever humanity did next, wherever these waves originated or what their activation signaled, Earth could only follow this alien siren's call into uncharted darkness, ominous signals arising from that eternal deep. The stars held unseen parails, but far stranger revelations may lurk within call of home. Feverish weeks passed, decrypting the enigma throbbing softly but persistently through every listening post aimed into the abyss. Triangulation traced the alien signal copy to a small icy sphere on Neptune's orbit, half-frozen in perpetual dusk. Carnegie dispatched an advanced scout probe at light speed to commence cursory investigation. Officially, the 72P-slash-Vanderdeck comet displayed no anomalies on initial scans but further analysis discovered microscopic geometric etchings covering the 16-mile icy core in subtly shifting helix patterns, forming an information lattice of staggering complexity on a scale defying comprehension. Probe readings confirmed the alien code stood frozen yet dynamic, awaiting input alongside aeronautic manipulators equally inscrutable in mechanical purpose or power. And now, those long dormant systems had unfathomably activated. This eerie intruder traveled the cometary void for unknown epochs before consciously approached populated spheres, flashing intelligence to parse its ancient message. Some theorists conclude this visitor passed through worlds unknowable to receive future Earth signals via phenomena beyond human physics, carrying whispers forward and backward through temporal halls of mirrors to set this rendezvous in motion eternities past. Others believe more familiar universal forces delivered it here, as avatar of civilizations ancient and unseen, or being now an eldritch entity unto itself. But whatever the truth, humanity now conversed with an ambassador spanning the eons, awaiting response with alien patience as its host iceball tumbled sunward. And in boardrooms spanning the inner worlds, the fateful debate began, to answer or ignore the call forever as the visitor drifted closer under Neptune's pale light. What gambit might open the first thread of dialogue? And where might its strands yet lead for a race daring to make first contact with the sleeper come from darkness?